Hi, this is Martin O'Hanlon from StuffAboutCode.com. I wanted to give you a quick, exam quick example of the Minecraft turtle I've written. Um, if you want to find out more, you can visit www.StuffAboutCode.com uh, and if you want to follow me on Twitter and find out more about the sorts of things I do, I'm at Martin O'Hanlon. So, the Minecraft uh, graphics turtle, the first thing we do is we need to import uh, the Minecraft turtle uh, module that, uh, that I've written the Minecraft module and the block module and then we're going to create a, mi create a connection to Minecraft in the way that we would do for any um, any Pi addition program. Uh, what I'm also going to do is get the players get the players position because when I create the Minecraft turtle I'm going to pass it the connection to Minecraft but I'm also going to pass it the position so it creates the turtle where the player is. Uh, if you don't pass it a position it, can, it creates it a at the spawn location 0, zero, zero. Um, and what The way graphics turtle works is that is, is they have a simple command system whereby you can tell them to go say forward 10 blocks yeah? and what it will do is it will go forward 10 blocks and draw a line. So let's run that and see that working. There's my turtle, off he goes and he's drawn 10 blocks. But what you can also tell your turtle to do is to turn right or left. So we can say, you know, we'll go right 90 degrees and then go forward again uh, 15 blocks. Again, let's run that program and see what happens. So here's our, our turtle, it goes off. And he turns right. For 15 blocks. And by using these sim simple commands you can make some pretty sophisticated shapes. So what this is going to do is move Steve right by 10, deg by 10, 10 blocks. Turn right 72 degrees and then do that 5 times. What I'm also going to do is change the speed of Steve because at the moment our turtle's going pretty slow. You can set a speed of between 1 and 10, 1 being the slowest, 10 being the quickest. Uh, there's also a speed of 0 which means that uh, it doesn't animate it at all, it just draws the lines. So let's run that. And off Steve goes, during the 5 lines. There we go. And if you start to use more sophisticated programming techniques, you can create other shapes. So, as an example, if we use a for loop, so we say, go around this for loop five times, go forward 30 blocks, rotate 20, 324 degrees. And off. Suddenly, you start to see that we could probably make some pretty big patterns and graphics with this turtle. We can also use our for loop to do shaped like circles. So what this is going to do is go, go forward one space then turn right fi 5 degrees. And so what we end up with is a circle. One of the great things about Minecraft is that you don't get a lot of other graphics turtles, is this that you've got a 3D world. So not only can you tell Steve to go right or go left, you can also tell Steve 
or our total to go up or down. So what I've so this command says angle up five degrees. Let's just make that slightly bigger. Run that again. Now what we can start to do is make 3D drawings, such as spirals. We can also change the pen that the turtle uses by using steve.penblock and giving it any block. The default is black wool, so it looks like black writing. So if you want to find out more about the, the Minecraft graphics turtle, have a look at www.stuffaboutcode.com where you'll see some more examples and a complete write-up of all the commands.